Hi there, this is Valentine and in this tutorial I will show you how you can use a Google Spreadsheet as an input data for iterations in Postman and to be more specific actually only in Newman. So let's get started with this tutorial. Now I have this spreadsheet here, it contains a list of stocks and this is a Google Spreadsheet. Now the data that is available here is something that I would like to use for using iterations in Newman, the CLI tool, the CLI companion for Postman. And the question is, how can I get this data here available in Newman? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So let's go to Postman and do a few things in order to get this to run. The only reason why I have Postman opened is to try to get the CSV information from the Google spreadsheet. And if you look into this video description, you will find a link that looks more or less like this. So this is the link that will offer you the possibility of exporting your spreadsheet in a CSV format. As you can see here, this key has the value out CSV. So this will give us CSV. Additionally, we need the spreadsheet ID and for that we have to share the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go to share and you can see here that I have a link that's already available. So anyone with this link will be able to view this spreadsheet. So this is the drawback, the spreadsheet has to be publicly available, but of course only people who have access to this link can actually read it. So I'm gonna open a new tab here in Postman. And what I'm gonna do is to simply copy this ID from here. As you can see, it starts after D slash and it ends before slash edit. So this is why I'm double clicking it and I'm getting it from here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply replace it here in ID. So this is an easy way to make sure that you don't do anything that will render this unfunctional. You can see I have no other spaces or nothing before or between it. So if I run it, you will see here that what I get back is a CSV file. It's everything is comma separated. This, the first line is the headers. And after that is the exact information that I had in the spreadsheet. And I only put it in Postman just to show you that this works because if it doesn't work in Postman, it will not work in Newman as well. So now in order to generate our link, I will remove this from here again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace column ID with this value so that we can easily paste it in the CLI. So once again, I'm trying it, everything still works, perfect. So let's go ahead and copy this and open Newman and see how we can get this to run in Newman. So inside Newman, I already have a collection that I'm going to use in order to execute this iteration. It's called Google Spreadsheet. So all I have to do is use Newman, run, and in order to specify the Google spreadsheet as iteration data, I will use dash dash iteration data space, and I will paste the link that I previously had. And what Newman will do is we'll open up the collection and we'll open up the iteration data. And because we had three rows in the spreadsheet, Newman created three iterations. And you can see for each of these iterations, there is a variable here that changes. It's called the ticker. So this is for Google, this is for Amazon, and this is for General Electric. The exact same data that you have seen in the spreadsheet. So this is how you can get data from a Google spreadsheet and have it as iteration data in Newman. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this and see you next time at another tutorial. Bye bye.